Lally ho and welcome to another one of these You are not ready for Dawn Trail or things you can expect to see in Dawn Trail videos that have been popping up lately. In my version I want to focus on us casual players. I want to show the overall picture, what you will have to expect during expansion launch, from personal experience looking back at previous expansion releases. I am playing Final Fantasy XIV since 1.0, therefore I have seen my fair share of expansion releases and know pretty confidently what will be going on. I also want to show a tiny detail people might have missed previously that adds flair to every expansion update, but more on that later. I will try my best to avoid any Dawn Trail spoilers in this video. I will go in chronological order from now on up to the release of Dawn Trail, so let's start off with the media tour. All times and dates are from my European perspective, by the way. This event, the Media Tour, is happening right now, from May 15th till May 30th. It is an event for media only, where the invited media guests and influencers will get a first look at new abilities, trailers and get a hands-on experience with a limited game to test out job changes and usually the first dungeon of the new expansion. They also get chances for exclusive interviews. All of this will happen behind closed doors, and you won't be hearing much about this until the embargo placed on it is lifted. This is likely scheduled to be on May 31st, but it could also be the week after. You will definitely know when it's happening by the vast amount of Dawn Trail videos that will suddenly drop by various peoples online. I'm not gonna lie, I tried to get into these media tours multiple times myself, but so far was sadly always declined entry. My questions are ready though to jump in at any time. During this media tour will also be a letter from the producer live on May 16th. During this presentation, us normal players will also at least get to see a job action trailer, some of the job changes as well as probably a look at the new start screen for Dawn Trail. A second letter from the producer live is scheduled for Friday, June 14th. This one will likely feature the launch trailer. This launch trailer is a story-focused video, showing actual in-game footage. It will contain a lot of spoilers and many people likely want to avoid it, so they don't know anything of what is about to happen in the next expansion. During that trailer you will see and hear things completely out of context and oftentimes there are many red herrings. The next big thing on the list is already the early access on Friday, June 28th and the associated big maintenance. So far every expansion launch had a 48 hour maintenance associated with it, and likewise, there is also one scheduled for this launch. But there is a chance for it to be expanded to 72 hours. This is because not only do we get the big software update, but there is also a physical update in the data centers with the implementation of the new EUDC called Shadow. Obviously, preparations are already happening, but there is still a chance that these times will change. On the Lonestone, you will get the actual times for the maintenance for your region, as well as the usual patch notes. Although this time, these patch notes will be very, very long. Be wary too, some notes might have spoilers in them, such as quest names, potential bosses and screenshots of cutscenes. Usually around halfway through the downtime, the new launcher client and the update to the game itself can be downloaded and installed by opening the usual launcher. As a reminder, you will have to log in in order to get the update for the game. Just opening the launcher will only update the launcher itself, so make sure to log in and get that update of the game out of the way beforehand as well. The official release is Tuesday, July 2nd, but most players will have paid a bit extra to get into the early access on Friday, June 28th. The login queue will be very long during that time. Be prepared to wait, maybe even up to an hour, to finally get through the queue. And frequent errors as well as crashes of the queue are very common during the day of the early access launch. Be patient, very patient. Once you manage to get into the game, disconnects are always possible. Again, be patient. Also to note, there usually will be an auto disconnect feature active that will automatically log you out if you don't move for 30 minutes. Due to the new graphical update, the loading times might increase, as well as the overall frame rate and performance might drop significantly. On the Lodestone, there surely will be a detailed guide to the new graphical settings. Take your time to study them beforehand, and I suggest to set them to your liking before going into the MSQ. 
The new main scenario quest will likely start at Ochika Tsunchika in Old Chalian, where the last quest ended. Also, it will likely be very crowded in this tiny entrance hall. Check which button on your keyboard or controller is set to target the closest NPC. As a little side note, please don't stand on top of any quest NPCs, so that people will have an easier time targeting them. One thing that will activate to lessen the burden on the server and the clients are the so-called instances. In the past, up to three instances of all the new areas were present at the launch of the expansion. You can use the command slash instance to check in which instance your character is currently located. To switch to a different instance, you can either go to an etherite in that area and select which instance you want to travel to. Alternatively, if you have access to a zone border, you can zone out and back in to get a prompt that will ask you which instance you want to access. This will come in handy if you are playing with a group of people, as it is possible that the party members could end up in different instances even when you travel and teleport together. With every expansion come new job actions and abilities. Also, some might change and get updated or replaced. Check your hotbars and the abilities on there and carefully read the tooltips if anything has changed. You will be able to read everything about the job changes on the lodestone beforehand. Also, people that were lucky to get into the media tour will create their overviews about the new jobs and changes on their YouTube channels. If you are trying to evade spoilers in game, a good idea could be to turn off shout chat for the time of the launch. To unlock flying in the newest areas, you will likely once again have to gather ether currents. With Endwalker, the ether compass, the device that will help you locate them, got moved from a key item into a collection entry. You can drag and drop that onto your hotbar for easier access. Once you have completed all the available main scenario quests in a certain area, the mount speed on land will increase. There is, however, the SDS Fenrir mount, which allows you to instantly drive on land at full speed. If you plan on going as fast as possible, you might want to look into buying that store exclusive mount before the expansion releases. As for inventory and items, make sure you have some form of food ready for the 3% experience points bonus, as well as enough free spaces for all the loot and items that will drop. And finally, there will also be one tiny change, some might even call it an easter egg. With the expansion will come updated pictures for the roulettes of the duty finder. For example, the graphics of the expert roulette and the highest level dungeon roulette will always feature the newly added jobs and races. In Endwalker, that is Sage, Reaper and Male Viera. Therefore, with Dawn Trail, expect to see a Viper, Pictmancer, as well as a female Hrothgar to appear in these images. Now lastly and most importantly, have fun and take your time. You will only get to experience this new story chapter for the first time once. The only real reason I can think of to be caught up quickly is if you want to participate first in line during the release of the next raid tier that will launch on normal difficulty usually two weeks after the expansion's release. Other than that, the new world is yours to discover at your own pace. If you found this video helpful, feel free to click the like button. And if you have a tip for other casual players that I didn't mention, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and until next time.